What's up, baby? Welcome back to another episode of, well, a long-lasted episode because it's been so long of From Coast to Coast on this EV Slays A channel, of course. This is episode number five, if I'm correct. So let's go ahead and today we're actually battling, uh, we're battling, um, wow, um, say BB, uh, let me see, uh, Brandon Piper. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my buddy right there from, uh, he's actually a follower slash subscriber. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm not going to get used to that, but that's the way I guess we say it nowadays, right? So yeah, we're going to go ahead and choose our Pokemon. I actually brought an interesting, well, we're doing a OU mixed tier set. Um, before before even uh, going through my opponent's uh, team, I'm going to describe what I got on the section below, which you're, you can't see because obviously I'm not recording that part of the video or the screen. So I have a uh, Mega Man Extra. I have the Choice Scarf Gardevoir. Do do take in mind this is a OU mixed here. Landorus with the the, the Life Orb I want to say. And wow, guess what? Volcarona does not have an item. Ha, huh, that's funny. Oh well, hey, my opponent. Wait, no, does have an item. But yeah, my Volcarona does not have an item. Uh, that sucks. But oh well. Dom Fan with the Citrus Berry, and Alexam with the Focus Sash. So. That's gonna be my team. I'm gonna real quick take a picture of my opponent's team as he's also bringing the Dom Fan as his own. Uh, Lily Pad or Lily Pep or whatever her name is. Uh, also bringing the Draga. Dr mm, the Dragon. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Wow. Wow, this is sad. Anyways, uh, X Bloud. Uh, what's your name too? Wow. Archaeops? I wouldn't say it's Archaeops. Yeah. Archaeops and Absol. So, wow, I can't believe I forgot your name. So, real quick, we have like 18 seconds left now. Uh, I'm going to start off. I want to start off with Dom Fan, honestly. But, seeing that he also has a Dom Fan and trying to set up rocks, I'm going to start off with Gardevoir and see what happens. Oh my god, I have three, two, one. Oh no! What happened? What happened? I couldn't, I didn't get it off in time. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, let's see what happens. I've never had this happen on a 6v6. See what happens. But good thing I did take a picture of my opponent's team. I see Domfan being a, a leading Pokemon. So, let's see what happens there. Let's see if this is uh, the thing here. I started with Gardevoir. And actually it does work then. Awesome. My opponent starts with Absol, which is pretty cool. Has, uh, pretty sure it's going to Mega Evolve and it's going to do the Magic Bounce. I acquired the Super Luck as a Trace ability, which is which is pretty interesting. Oh, not that bad, I guess, as a, an ability. And now I'm at what a plus one critical hit ratio, status, status, however you want to say it. But at this point, I can go for a Moonblast. Uh, as looking at his opponent, there's nothing that resists. I, I guess there's no Fire types, so I can go for a Moonblast, and that should hit pretty hard unless my opponent wants to switch out, and he doesn't switch out. He actually Mega Evolves into the beautiful Mega Absol. I think it's majestic. Look at that. Look at those wings. Oof. And it got like that long freaking bang. Goes for the Sucker Punch. This is super effective. And, ooh, I survived. I didn't, I, I forgot about Soup. I forgot. But this should take out my opponent's uh, Pokemon. After all, Abs ooh, with the crit. Thanks for the super luck. But anyways, um... Yeah, Absol, ladies and gentlemen, is like super fragile. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard about that so often, but it's, it's fragile. You better better be sure you take out your opponent one hit. That's why usually I run like Absol with like, I don't know, like extra crit stuff. And make sure I take out my opponent. But at this point, either way, my guard was Choice Scarf. So my opponent can easily go for an Ice Shard here, which I don't want to risk it. I still want my... This sucks, dude. I brought five Pokemon. Are you serious? Are you serious? This sucks. Uh, you know what? Oh, well, whatever. We're going to try. We're still going to try. I didn't bring my freaking Dom fan. This, this blows. This, this sucks. And I'm handicapped. But it's all right. He's going to go for the Ice Shard. So I'm upset. Uh, let, me, let me just message him real quick and tell him what's the dealio over here on my side of the field. Because I'm not too happy. I am not too happy. This really, this is uh, crap. Uh, hey, at least we learned a lesson, right? Uh, uh, but oh well, I only brought 
Tell them that I only brought five. But hey, that's what happens, right? So right now I can. Uh, I'm trying to predict what he's gonna do. He's gonna go for the ice shard, so I can easily just go for Volker Run before he sets up rocks. Because if he sets up rocks, that's gonna be really unfortunate for me. I did not bring my spinner, so that sucks. Oh man. So he goes with the ice shard. I predicted that uh, priority move, so this doesn't do much to me. Um, I can easily just set up all over my opponent, even though he can go for a Stone Age. I believe I can take these hits. Wow, and I, and I have like sad little moves over here, like so bad, bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for the the Quiver Dance. At least I have something. I really wasn't prepared for this. I just like try to get everything really quick, but whatever. Um, just for the funds, right? For the fun of it right here. My opponent goes for the Earthquake. This should do a great amount of damage since it's stabbed. And, uh, yeah. Sadly, sadly enough, I'm not going to be able to take out my opponent. After all, he is Quiver, um, what is this, Sturdy? So, Dom fans carry Sturdy ability, which is pretty great for it. Honestly, look at that. And, he has a Citrus Berry, which is awesome. Go ahead and eat that up. Eat that up, baby. So, he goes for another Earthquake. This is a, a dead Volcarona, sadly. So, here goes this stuff. Uh, yeah, so, I can easily come in with Magnetric and finish this off, honestly. Finish this off, and go for the Ice Shard there, and, you know, try to take me out. And go for the Landers, take that out as well. Uh, but, I'll be taking out too much, too much, um, you know what? I could. I could. What do you, what, I mean, what's the best thing you could do against Landers? Ice Shard? Ice Shard would be a, a thing. I sure it could be a thing, but I'm still gonna bring my Nectric just to even if he tries to do an ice shard and go ahead and hit him with the uh, intimidate and that's gonna be do minimal damage. So I'm gonna go and mega evolve and I'm gonna do the HP ice thing here. So goes for the HP ice. Oh, I'm gonna go for the HP ice. I'm over here talking about like if it was my opponent, but yeah. So here I go, mega Nectric, mega evolving like it should. Doing his thing. Look at that. Look at that. Roaring away. Anyway, so go for the HPI. Let's see how much damage this does. I do hit the Intimidate, and this should take out my opponent if I'm right. I'm not even running damage cucks at the moment, but I should. But it goes the Ice Shard. It does like crap damage, but uh, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Here it goes. Hit that thing, and gown. Okay, so that's a good thing. Whew. Takes away some sweat. You know, e even though I have five Pokemon in this match, I'm doing okay. I, I mean, I personally feel, in my opinion, that I'm doing okay. So, here comes a Flygon, which will be destroyed. Maybe, maybe we'll actually take him to, like, down to 20% HP with this hidden power. Of course, he will go with the Earthquake. And, yeah, this should destroy me. I should have just switched out, right? I should have switched out. Why didn't I? I could have gotten Intimidated out. I wasn't thinking. It's alright. It's alright. I'm kind of, like, going out. Nah, it's going to stay quiet man. but I'm gonna go in with the guard board I am gonna trace the levitate so that's gonna be fun I am choice scarf so I'm gonna hit my opponent hard with that uh, dazzling gleam I hope he sees this coming uh, but yeah here goes the dazzling gleam I'm, uh, I mean moon blast moon blast I'm thinking about dazzling gleam over here but I do have the levitate uh, my opponent I guess didn't realize that I traced its ability Flygon there you go Flygon yes so my opponent's Pokemon is gone uh, you know what? That would have been a good switch, and that would have been nice. Next time, next time, next time. Right now, I'm just, I'm just doing my thing here, doing my thing, trying to get this, this battle under go, underway, underway, underway. There it is, underway. So let's see what else he has. He has uh, Exploud, Archeops, and also has the Lilypip, which I'm glad because none of these Pokemon uh, have priority anymore. Um, yeah, so I can go for another Dazzling Gleam and take my opponent out here. Not take it out, but actually go down, uh, take it down to HP really low. So, I think I think that's a better play, I want to say. Or I can go for a Stab Psychic, which that seems pretty cool too. Yeah, if not, and then I can come in with Alakazam and just do the, the rest of the job. Finish the rest of the job. So, here goes another Moonblast. Let's see how much damage this does. Uh, let's see, let's see. And actually, ooh, brings him down to the Focus Sash and another crit. Oh man, goes for the hidden power, what? Hidden power, what? 
to empower what, water? Maybe water. I, I think maybe water. That would be a thing. So, at this point, I can go for Alagazam and just finish the job. And let's see. I think Alagazam has what, Trace? I believe it has Trace. So, no, it doesn't have Trace. It must have something else. I forgot what. Oh, Wonder Guard. I believe it's Wonder... Magic Guard. There it is. Magic Guard. So, at this point... I go for the Psychic? I mean, there's no point to go for anything else. I believe my opponent... My opponent... I mean, he has what? An Exploud and an Archaeops left. That's it. That's it. That's all we have to face. Th those are the only last two threats, which is pretty good. I'm not... I'm not intimidated... I want to say that. I want to say that I'm not intimidated. So we come with a fat X Cloud. X Cloud is fat, ladies and gentlemen. Fat thing right there. Uh, I can go for the side shock and hit the defensive side, and then come in with Landorus and just wreck. I want to say that because Landorus is what they carry. Uh, carry. What do they carry? I believe extra sensory ice beam, flamethrower sometimes, or thunderbolt. And did I mention ice beam? I don't, I'm not sure, but. Oh, and Boom Burst. There it is. Boom Burst. So, I'm going to hit it with a, a Stab Psych Shock. Try to hit the defensive side. Because I want to... Uh, I should have actually ran Damage Calcs for this. I'm actually going to start running Damage Calcs. And we see that my opponent carries a Hyper Voice instead of the Boom Burst. And this is going to take me down to 16. Which is fine. Because a Psych Shock should take out my opponent. I am faster. So, for this last part of the battle, I really, really want to uh, do Damage Calcs. So my opponent is going to have an Archaeops, right? Because, man, uh, this, this is intense. Uh, Archaeops, right? Archeon, Archaeops. I think it's Archaeops. What is it? Archaeops, yeah. So I'm going to put in all you, uh, uh, NU all attacker set versus, I want to say, Alagazam. Wait, wow, I am so off. So Alagazam, Alagazam, Alagazam. So at this rate, we're looking at that Psychic. What about Psy Shock? What does Psy Shock do? What does Psy Shock do? That's my question. How much damage does a Psy... Ugh. Wow, my my like keyboard is like so off right now. What's going on? Okay. What, what the... Psy... Wow, look at this. Look at this. What's going on, yo? Okay, I'm I'm not even I'm not even about this life right now. I'm, I'm not feeling this. Uh, side shot. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I think I just passed you up. Wait, wait, wait. Side shot. Wait, where are you? Anyways, uh, I think I'm. A, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for a, a psychic. Uh, I think that's a. Could have gone for an energy ball, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not even sure. Anyways, Psychic guarantees a one-hit KO, so... Oh, well, I guess minimal damage. That was 90%. It's fine. It's fine, right? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that I actually had to kill. All right, running damage up. But my, my keyboard is being against me right now. It was, it was hating me, but... I did the Psychic, and that brought him down to like 9 or 10%, which is fine with me. I hit the Intimidate, so yeah, I think this is about it. This should round up the battle right here. Uh, let's see. I can go for Rock Slide. That would be interesting, but we do have the chance of missing. So, 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 go for the U-Turn. Yeah, I think U-Turn is like the most secure thing to do, even though it will do like minimal damage. And will probably not kill my opponent. <laughs> Should we check what a U-turn does? Just for the laughs and giggles? Should we? Uh, yeah, well. Let's just go for the rock slide. I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that, uh, that U-turn. Goes for the earthquake. Um, yeah, I'm flying, I'm flying ground, bro. But anyway, so, yeah, so this rock slide is super effective. And yeah, that this guarantees my win. Uh, yeah, so wow, that was that was a heck of a battle. Actually, for, just for bringing five Pokemon, that was pretty good. Uh, it's a 1-0. So according to the deal that I have, I don't know if I should. I usually, you know, if, if you beat me, I give you a free, 
what, a free Pokemon, I guess, uh, a gift Pokemon as a thank you if you lead me down to one Pokemon or actually defeat me. So, that's actually one of the deals that I have here in this uh, channel. So, other than that, um, was it Brandon Piper, I believe? Brandon Piper. Thanks for that battle. For that battle. Battle, 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 battle. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. That was intense, actually. I was actually worried. I was, I was like, oh, damn, blues, because, you know, all oh, this, uh, only brought five Pokemon, but nah, nah. Um, I guess that wasn't the situation this time. So, thank you very much. Uh, good game to you too, Brandon. Uh, just got just got your message, man. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more of this, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Let me know. Let, let me hear your voice, and that would that would actually help me a lot as well. Other than that, well, my friend just disconnected here. Other than that, uh, just. Just remember, just, oh, yeah, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Yeah, yeah, double battles, double battles. I'm actually going to bring that real soon. We only have, what, 17, 18 minutes in? Probably, like, 17 minutes in the video, so it's not that bad. So, yeah, I get to talk about the double battle thing. I need to get it going. I know, I know some of you guys are actually waiting on that. Uh, yeah, I need to, I know, I'm just kind of reminding myself in this video that I need to get it going, which, uh, obviously, I don't have to remind myself, but... I'm kind of messing up there. I'm kind of messing up there. But yeah. Alright, so. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, thank you very much. I'm going to wrap this up. Other than that, just sit back, relax, and um, just game on. Get ready. That's not even cold. I'm over here like. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Alright, alright. Oh, look at that kitty shirt. Look at that kitty shirt. Damn, look at that guy right there. <laughs> Seriously, he looks like he's not. He wants to tear your shit up. Okay, so let's do this.